as long as he can't get you on the ground, right? But I cannot fight. I cannot <laughs> fight with him in uh, MMA because he knows uh, how to fight in MMA. But in boxing, Daddy, is he fight for you? Okay, you okay, fight only. It's like, it's like, how can you can fight the shark in 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 the ocean? <laughs> but if you fight the shark in 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 the, in the dry land, then <laughs> you're. <laughs> Partners were actually telling us when he was dropped back to the home that he was stumbling out of the car after the 12 rounder. <clears throat> um, What's your response to the way he says you've been treating your sparring partners as far as the house is concerned? I think it's ridiculous. I mean, we have multiple houses over here. He can say, look, he can say what he wants. The guy is a mouthpiece. I don't know what else to say. He came in, he got his ass whooped, he got his ego badly dented, and, and that's it. I mean. We sent the footage of the knockdown, we sent the footage over, and, and I don't think they, they, they re are refusing to show it, so... He was flattened. What can I say? He got his ass whooped. But, but I like the guy. He's alright, though. He's kind of like a lovable mouthpiece, do you know what I mean? But he's alright. He was knocked down, he was flattened against the ropes, multiple times the ropes kept him on his feet. Uh, we were worried about him, it, we thought, we, we thought the worst was, was that to happen, you know what I mean? We, we, it was, he was certainly badly concussed. As far as the images that got leaked, let me clear this, I didn't leak no images. The image I leaked, and the, or the image I released, the only image I released was the original one, where my hands were behind my back. And that was in response to the comment where he said, he went on a big quote, and one of the 
one of the comments in the quote was, I will beat him with one hand tied behind my back. So I released one picture with, both, with me whooping his ass with both hands behind my back. Um, and then he just got out of there and went running. And I, I don't know, I mean, I don't mind Pauly. He came in. He spoke, a hell, he spoke a hell of a game previous. Very disrespectful to, to the skill set. Very disrespectful to the discipline. But no matter what a man says, if they show up and try to answer that and try their best, you've got to give respect. And that's what happened. He showed up. He tried his best. It didn't go his way. He got his ass whooped. He got his pride dented. And then he wanted a way out. What, what better way for, for, for a guy like him to, to exit under a load of questions and mysterious, you know what I mean? It, so un under a load of questions. So. And that's it. So. Round one is in the books for McGregor. No, he doesn't really believe those things. You have to understand the psychology. This is the first time ever Floyd has been in a spot where he wasn't favored to beat a guy. He, everybody is expecting Floyd to go out and not only dominate this fight, but get him out of there in one or two rounds. Floyd is starting to feel that. It's, it's an unusual spot for him where he's looking and going, hey guys, I appreciate that you all have faith in me, but you've got a little bit too much. How about we go out there and two men go out and have a contest? These are the intangibles because what Teddy and I are watching right now is an amateur boxer getting ready to take on the best of all time. But the intangibles do matter. That is a pretty stark characterization, an amateur boxer getting ready to take on a guy that could be 50 and 0 by the time the month is out. Our Brett Okamoto has been on the scene all day. We've moved to station three, a couple action in the ring, then we've hit the bag twice. He's there, boots on the ground. His eyes are closer than any of us. Brett, what are you seeing right now with your two eyes there? Yeah, from a technical standpoint, I think Chael and Teddy have really outlined uh, a lot of what's going through my mind. I mean, obviously, one thing I told you, Zubin, is that I expected him to be in amazing shape, and I know that that's, that's very, very crucial to him. I mean, that's been crucial really throughout his career, especially after he lost to Nate Diaz last year. He felt that he was very inefficient with his energy, is what he said. That fight was at 170 pounds when it was supposed to be at 155 pounds. So just looking at him physically, and this has not surprised me at all. I knew all along that Conor McGregor would do everything in his power to get as prepared as is humanly possible to face Floyd Mayweather. But everything that you're hearing from uh, the two experts there about the technique, I would have to agree with. Teddy, I want to ask you this because you have been in the corner. You have trained some of the guys that basically ate pressure for lunch. And Chael has talked about what a performer this guy is under pressure. For those of us that are just fans, that haven't been in the corner, that haven't been in the ring, can you explain the intangible of the mental side of something like this and the pressure with the world watching? Not the physical, the mental. There's a mental part, and he's right on the button talking about the mental part my uh, UFC counterpart there, 75% uh, of the game, all right? There it is. 75% of my business, my sport, is the mental part. Mm. And McGregor has been in that realm. You know, he has been in that environment. He's been under the big lights. And the most important part, what does that mean mentally being right? What does that mean having the mental edge that you have to be to be a championship fighter in, in whatever whether it's boxing or UFC. What it means is that you have to understand, you have to be able to push the wolf away from the door. The wolf of submission. The wolf of where you, you feel like breaking down. The wolf where you feel like giving in. Where you don't think that you can find the way. Where you start to make excuses. Where you're not reliable. Where you start to give in. Where the normal person, the person out there, the, the, the layman person, they can do that. They can, they can give in. They can still go to work the next day. They give in. They say they're, they're sick. And the next day, they can still show up work. And it might not hurt their career. But in the boxing ring, you cannot do that. That's called the chamber. Ariani has my money in a briefcase the way I like my money. I, I only accept money in briefcases.
don't mess with that guy, yeah? Take a good look at him and don't ever fucking mess with him. I wonder how much a chair would have cost me. I said yesterday, the featherweights must, must beg now. They must, they must beg for pardon, beg for forgiveness. If that's the case, if they apologize and beg, I'll leave the division. I won't terrorize them anymore. They can have their division back. They can, ba they can go back to being on the prelims. 2015 was my year. 2016 is also my year. Every year is my fucking year. When you fought Chad, he rearranged your face. You, st you haven't looked right since. After that five round Mendez fight, which arguably could have went to him, you look like you've had a stroke. The left side of your face is drooping. I'm worried about you. I, honestly, I'm worried. I, I love you. I love you like my bitch. Who gives a fuck? The Irish are back. We've taken back control of New York City. I run New York City. I'm a fucking pimp. Rocking Gucci Mick. And without me, this whole fucking ship sink. Scared stiffless. He's, he's, he's scared. He's scared stiff right now, so I don't want to scare him no more. I feel like I'm understanding this game a lot more. I don't care what country, what sea, what kingdom you are in, I'll find you and make you kiss my feet. I want an apology for saying my wife and kids. Suck these Just big Irish balls. <laughs> da 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 da. It's the motherfucking DOWG. <laughs> I'm going to give you a chance to apologize. You apologize to me. These big Irish balls are.